hello how are you i'm alex and welcome to my channel if you're new here then it's nice to meet you and if you're coming back we're best friends now you know how it goes i hope you're doing well and if not i totally get that it's okay these things happen and i hope tomorrow's better Today, I will be doing my September reading wrap-up. Despite feeling like I was in a bad reading mood and going through a reading slump, I feel like I've read a lot this month. I'm not really sure how that happened, to be honest. There were lots of graphic novels, some books that I did DNF, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I didn't read a lot of stuff that I was a huge fan of. Um, however, I did read two new favorites so you know you win some you lose some i think i'm just gonna separate them into like books that i didn't like that much slash didn't finish then start talking about some graphic novels and then talk about the books that i really did love so for the first book that i did finish that i didn't enjoy that much um it was Her Body and Other Parties by Carmen Maria Machado. This is a anthology of short stories that are kind of a play on different horror stories. And I heard a lot of good stuff about Machado as an author. However, this fell flat for me. I'm not gonna lie, I don't usually love anthologies that much because stories can be really hit or miss. You know, you love some of them and then the, the rest are like eh. we're just like okay but there was one story that i really really liked and I honestly don't even remember what it was but it was the first story and then the rest of them were not that interesting for me it was very sexualized which is just something that i don't like in literature to begin with and i didn't know that going into the book so that was something that just kind of surprised me and I didn't see that happening. Um, so I, I just wasn't a fan of that. I don't know, I just I just didn't mesh well with the writing, I guess. I didn't find the stories interesting. They were mostly kind of boring, in my opinion. Just didn't work out for me. Then there was Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. So many people from reviews that I've read said that this revolutionized dystopian novels and creating this utopian future that's actually kind of horrific and relevant to the present. The thing is, I had read, I just read 1984 by Orwell, which I did enjoy. So reading Brave New World, it just wasn't even a little bit as interesting as 1984. If I had to describe it in one sentence, I would just say it's like 1984 but boring and more racist. That's really it. Like, nothing about the story lured me in and it, like, I was just reading it for the sake of reading it and eventually I was just like, why am I, why am I doing this to myself? I don't want to be reading books that I'm not interested in anymore. If something is just boring me i'm gonna put it away maybe pick it up later if i feel like it but what is the point of wasting time and energy reading something i don't enjoy when i read for the sake of learning something and enjoying myself and you know it's something i do for pleasure and i really have nothing to say about brave new world that's positive so i'm just not really gonna talk about it the other and last book that I struggled to finish slash only read half of so I'm not really even adding it to my read books for this year and that's Franny and Zoe by JD Salinger. Boring. I did read the first story in one sitting. It's like 40 pages. Boring. It's just oh this guy just keeps saying god damn it. <laughs> And you know a lot and it was just so repetitive and unnecessary and I was like why am I reading this I don't like this story so I picked up a different book that pulled me out of my reading slump thank god because I just read so many boring books in a row and I was like am I never going to enjoy a book again is is this where my life is at now and then before I move into the graphic novels, I just wanted to talk about Ariel by Sylvia Plath, which I also read this month, but I did enjoy it. This is an anthology of her poetry. 
I really, really love Tulips. On to the graphic novels. I read The Prince and the Dressmaker, illustrated and written by Jen Wang. Excellent. Excellent. I loved it. I didn't really know anything about it going into it. I didn't know what to expect. I did not see the story going where it was going and I don't want to spoil anything for anyone who's anticipating to read it but it's excellent and it tells the story of this prince and his new dressmaker she designed something and it caught the prince's eye and she's hired the art was really cute and it was a really sweet story I love the relationship between the prince and the dressmaker they have a very adorable friendship and it made me very, very happy to read. The next two graphic novels are Heartstopper volumes three and four. I read them one after the other by Alice Osman. Adorable, though I did not enjoy them as much as the first one. The first one was definitely my favorite. These ones definitely delve into much more complicated and difficult topic so there definitely are a few trigger warnings in these graphic novels so look into that if you are affected by anything that's in the realm of mental health. Alice Osman is just such a great storyteller and they create these characters that you just you want to give them a hug and be friends with them and tell them it's gonna be okay and Osman is also just such a great artist I love their work I'm a huge fan and Nick and Charlie have my heart. They have stolen my heart and they can keep it. It's okay with me. They can have it. It's theirs now. The last graphic novel that I read was Dune, the graphic novel, by Frank Herbert, which was adapted by his son, Brian Herbert, and Kevin J. Anderson. It was good. I knew Dune would make a good graphic novel. Uh, this is just volume one, as far as I understand. However, I just read Dune a couple of months ago so i don't think i enjoyed this graphic novel as much as i could have if a i hadn't read dune or b i hadn't read dune so recently just read the books so i was like okay i i've already read this this is kind of boring to me and then for my two new favorites surprise surprise one of them is beautiful world where are you by sally rooney Rooney is a genius. I, like, she's just so brilliant. I loved this book so much. I did a whole reading vlog on it. It was fantastic. I had the opportunity to read it as an ebook uh, on my e-reader and I loved it. I cannot wait to get my hands on a physical paperback copy and just go through it again and take all my notes. I love the friendship between Eileen and Alice and their relationship with their respective men in their lives. So good. Rooney is so good at delving into topics of relationships and communication and extreme lack of communication and it's phenomenal. If you want to hear more on my thoughts about this, go watch my reading vlog because I spend like a good eight minutes just raving about this book and every aspect that I love about it. She's a fantastic writer and I will be surprised if she could write something that I wouldn't enjoy at this point. And for the last book on this video and the second favorite of the, the month of September, The Saturday Night Ghost Club by Craig Davidson. This book was excellent. It follows so many great themes and it's done in such an incredible way. It is one of my number one recommendations for Spooky Month. I talk about it over in my video for Spooky Reads for October and I stand by it. It was a five star read for me. It's set in the Niagara Falls region on the Canadian side in a small town following Jake Baker. And he's narrating this as his future self, as an adult who is a neurosurgeon. And he's telling the story of his 12th summer set in the 80s and this ghost club that he creates with his uncle Calvin, his new friend Billy. And they go through town in different spots that are known to be haunted and they learn about the legend and the ghosts that exist there if they exist there and it all ties back in nicely to a real life occurrence and it's a very deep reflection of grief 
and how it affects us and how trauma can impact our mind. It talks about truth and memory and its unreliability. And it also talks a lot about what it's like to be a kid and to be carefree and to enjoy your summer and to have silly crushes and new friends and the amount of trust we put in as children um, to the adults in our life. It's really, really, really good. And I highly, highly recommend it. I think it's a fantastic, spooky, cozy read. That's all for today. Those are all the books that I got through this month and I'm looking forward to what October will bring. I already started reading a couple of books, including House of Leaves by Mark Danielowski, I wanna say is his name. Thanks for watching my video, like this video if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my content, let me know what you read in September, I'm curious to see if you guys have any good recommendations. I'll see you next time, bye bye.